five, four, three, two. Hey, hello. Welcome to Texar Tuesday. Um, this is, I feel a bit sad today. This is the last of the Oriental Baltimore shows. I can't believe we've done all of that. It's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. So for those of you that have never seen this before, this is the Lisa Chandler Oriental Baltimore. And we have been doing this over the last, well, basically the last year. Isn't it, really? Yep. SJ's in the corner. Hello, I am, SJ. I'm back again. She's back again, that's what we like. <laughs> um, so today, yeah, we look at how we do this sashing because it's a bit beautiful. And there are a few different options as to how you might want to do the symbols if you want to do the symbols. It's up to you. This is now your quilt. Um, we have been, it's fair to say, we have put off this show for a couple of months because the fabric hadn't arrived yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I went to bed last night, I was like, why do I ache? <laughs> um, yeah. Might have something to do with the massive delivery that arrived <coughs> just as we came up there. The half ton of uh, fabric, yeah, that arrived Even yesterday. Even the delivery man was moaning. <laughs> he did have a right did. good whinge, didn't he? He did. He read her and it was really heavy. It's like, I know. Uh, you're not going to be able to do that? I'm like, mm. just watch me. Don't underestimate me. <laughs> well, you can't lift that up again. <laughs> Let's not go there, shall we? So bless him. He went and, uh, and yeah, I did indeed unload all of it. Um, so we have had now up on the website the Oriental Baltimore finishing instructions for you. These are essential if you want to create these because they've got the templates for the symbols, the summer, winter, autumn, Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Yeah. <laughs> it's not difficult, is it? It's just the seasons. It's not a difficult thing to remember. Well. Apart from it is for me. But I thought, well, it's summer. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying it's right. It's seven degrees. Don't Welcome really to May. It, it counts anymore <laughs> in the UK, does it? We should just strike summer out. We don't ever have it. <laughs> It'll be really nice. We have nice. two days of it a year. It's back holiday, isn't it? That's why it's raining. Yeah, that's the one. It's typical, isn't it? Already going. So it's a great excuse to stay in, stay in and stitch. Yep. That's the one. So some of you have been eager beavers and already cracked on with this. I know that you have. Well done. For those of you that have been waiting, we've got it here. So what we have got, we've got various things for you today. If you want the finishing kit in, so we're looking at, it's this stuff, all of this, all the sashing. If you would like it in the rather, rather glorious gum leaves, that is now back in stock. If you would like it in the small floral, again in golden ivory, that is now back in stock. You can buy those either individually, it's a metre and a half that you need, or, 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 if you want to applique your symbols on, then you can also buy them with... Um, Black fabric, yes. fat quarter black, so that you can do these, you can cut bias strips and you can do those. It's up to you how you want to do it. Should we say good morning to everyone before yeah. we crack on with it? Because I've also got, which is super exciting, some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful new Lisa fabrics that you won't have seen yet and some that are back in stock. Do you know what? Been out stock I don't ages. even think that some of these fabrics are up on Lisa Chandler's own website. Oh no, she hasn't got them yet. At the moment. They've come here first. Yeah, which is... We've actually got them. When you think how close Australia and Japan are, yeah. the fact that we got them in the UK before Lisa Chandler actually gets her own fabrics. Mm -hmm. Pretty impressive. Not that I'm feeling, you know, super snug, snug, smug about that at all. I don't know what snug is. But I'm not feeling it. Still so sparkly, I said, lesson number one, never tell Natasha she's not capable of doing something. I know, right? It's like a personal challenge. That delivery man did not know. No. You know those t-shirts where it says, underestimate me, that'll be fun. I think that was made for me. I think you need to wear it every single time we get a delivery. <laughs> Just always. Uh, Pinfield Thomas, what is she doing? Is she back again? She's back again. And do you know what? She's changed her profile picture as well. I know, I saw it last night to the and two it's of like you. a massive head. My, my head, which is not, I don't have, I wear a child size riding hat, right? Child size. I do not have a big head in any way, shape or form. But it looks like I've got this mega head and then there's Gemma just in the corner. I'm like, how do I have such a big head? 
<laughs> the way and then we realised actually she's just far she's away. Far away. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. Um, hang on. What's happening with Karen? Morning, Tasha. It's great to see you live. Life has been so difficult over the last few months. Karen, you are not the only one that feels like that. A lot of us have had a, a bit of a, a bit of a to do. So I, I feel for you there, and I hope things get better soon. Colette, good morning, Natasha and SJ. Really looking forward to this. Do you know what? I am actually quite nervous about this. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this isn't something that I could prep because I don't have a spare nine months worth of projects just <laughs> yeah. tucked up my sleeve so i've kind of just got to get this right just got to get it right there's no there's no no two ways about it um and actually read the instructions uh, morning evie dull day but natasha makes a day full of sunshine oh bless you um yeah, john's had the heating on for the last two days yeah, and yet john at your party it was lovely had doors open and everything it was great morning jane morning rebecca more uh, Oh, Gemma wants the flower and gum option. Of course she does. Of course she does. Morning, Claire. Morning, Lisa. Morning, Julia. Um, yeah, Claire's had to add an extra duvet. There you go. Um, I, um, yeah, my dad's refusing to turn the heating on because it's supposed to be hot outside, but I have a little heater in my bedroom, so I've just been turning that on in the evening um, and closing the door so he doesn't know that I've had it on, because otherwise he'll get a waft of heat as he walks up the stairs. <laughs> I love that. Hoping I love that he that. just won't notice until the yeah. bill comes through. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> John just says, she's much shorter than you. I th I'm, I'm gonna think that angry face is possibly Gemma's reaction to that. Is it? It's just we a have fat a Gemma. It it's is nothing. Gemma. It's, yeah. <laughs> it is Gemma. Tash, is your body further away than, no, is your head further away than your body? I sort of don't know. How is that like part giraffe neck or something? I don't, I don't know how that photo happened. You know, and sometimes you just look at it, it's like, how, how is that even possible? I don't know. Um, oh, Helen, that's dangerous. She says, morning, ladies, home alone again. <laughs> <laughs> I added in the evil laugh, by the way, that was me. She didn't, she didn't do that. Um, morning, Leslie. Just starting my 30-day craft challenge for Dementia UK. Oh, what's that? I haven't heard of that. Morning, Kirsty. Showery in Wellingborough today, but I finally finished my 12 metres of bunting last night. Oh, perfect. Do you know what? I did think that we should have put up our bunting. Oh, we'll have to get it out for tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so there's a really small problem with that. It's not here. Yeah. yeah, I lent it to Freddie's school for their jubilee party, and it's still in the hallway. Oh, now the school's closed. Looking beautiful. Closed. Now it's half term. School is shut. Oh no! Do you know what I saw as I was driving into the office today as well? Some um, some people had got their bunting out on their front fences. Does look good. Does look good. Joanne, it's not a stupid question. She says, "Can I ask a silly question about yourself?" Oh, she she called it silly. I upgraded it to stupid. Sorry. Um, you said about Odie coating about yesterday's mate, the bowls. Where are the bowls? <laughs> They've been moved where, already. Where, where, <laughs> They've been stolen. Where did the bowls go? <laughs> Somebody might where, be taking them home. Where, where were they? They were here. Um, I can't see them. Uh, um, so, you can Odie coat beforehand, but it means that you will you have to if you want when you come to pressing um use a um what do you call it a pressing cloth oh i can hear the bowls coming back ah here come the bowls hi no bowls <laughs> oh jane tidied oh that's it <laughs> this has been an ongoing theme hasn't it jane tidying <laughs> i've just realized my head got in the way then didn't it yeah it's all right uh, so it's fine um so these are the these are <coughs> these are they Worst case is, uh, do you know what? I'll give it a go with some of these and I'll, um, if you, I mean, I'm sure if you like used a paintbrush and you painted on really finely, but as a rule of thumb, eau de coat before, because it can distort the fabric because you're, you're going through the warp and the weft. So I would generally eau de coat beforehand. Um, right, morning. I'd love doing this project, says Rosemary. Only up to prop five, but let's have more like this. Ah, now, should we tell Rosemary? Yeah, go what on. What the plan is. Yeah, it's the final, final part plan. of this today, isn't it? So we may as well. So, Rosemary, here's the thing. We've loved it too. We've absolutely loved it too. And actually, Lisa has another Baltimore quilt. She does. 
So, you have a choice. You can either do this one and you're done. Maybe you want to start the next Baltimore. Same block sizes, the lot, on the black background, the lot. And you can start afresh with the next Baltimore. But the symbols do mix in really beautifully. So if you wanted to mix it up and add these in and just have a mega quilt, I'm not sure if it's a bit like akin to Johnny Depp's mega pint, I'm not sure. <laughs> but if you want to have a mega quilt, then we are going to start that. We've got it in the diary, haven't we? Not Is it next we month or the month before? Do have it in the diary, let me check. I know it's all scheduled, we've got it all scheduled. We've been a bit organised. Um, no. Because I can't remember these things off the top of my head. But no, there will be a new one coming. We have, we've got it due in. <coughs> In, in July, have we given ourselves a break and then we'll start it in July? Yes, I think that's it. So we can source all the fabrics that we need but for it. It will be the very beginning of July. Yay! So yeah. it will take over this slot, like yes. the first, it, which is normally like the first. It, this would normally be like, would this normally be the first week? So oh, I don't know. It's slightly different. So we usually would do this on the second, second. week. Whereas I think now we'll be moving it into the first week. And you're going to tell everyone about that because you do all the markety stuff. Yeah, so yes. I will be sharing beautiful images um, in coming weeks. Yeah. So we can all get excited about it. Do it, do it, do it. Um, next month or the month after? Is that this month then? <sighs> It'll be July. July. It will It will be launched oh, in July. It's the 31st of May, isn't it? Yeah, it so is it's a not tough one. Give us a month to get all the fabrics gathered. Yep. And gathered to, to, to give you sneak peeks and... Oh, for me to actually make some. And get it uh, all ready. All and then at the beginning of July, we will launch it to everybody. Fabulous. Morning, Sarah Payne Quilter. How the devil are you? Um, Flower and gun leaves on their own. Can we load, can we load a bottle of that? Or I've just done it in the 1.5. Someone wants it by the half metre. By the half metre. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So we can load a bolt up of that. Thank you. I didn't realise that wasn't live. Shall I show you brand new fabrics before we start? <laughs> I don't know if I can share this. It's so pretty. Oof. Yeah, look at that. How gorgeous is that? It is stunning. How beautiful is that? Now this is sold in 60 centimetre increments because that is the pattern repeat from the middle of one Waratah to the middle of the next, hang on, let me undo another one. So it goes middle of one Waratah, you get a whole Waratah to the middle of the next Waratah. Waratah is the big one. And that's what your 60 centimetre repeat is and that's how we cut it this has just come straight for literally straight off the boat so we all have to um just chop a little bit off this one to rectify that but that's how this will come this is your border stripe it's a bit blinking gorgeous isn't it brown brand Very new pretty. we have this before lisa even has it this is a brand new colorway it's absolutely exquisite absolutely exquisite i'm going to show you all the fabrics that go with it because I love it very, very much. So there it is. Now this has previously been in the grey and the ivory in this colourway. And in the black it's been in the reds. But can I also show you a brand new colourway please? Because look what Lisa's done to go with it. Yes, yes, yes. It is the small floral in grey which I rather love. It's grey and rose. Yeah, that's the name of it, grey and rose. Isn't it lovely? It is very pretty. Really, really beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Now, now, now. Also, what goes with this? We've got this one back in stock! Which means, SJ, if 
you know, because we've got this one as well, don't forget, we've got that colourway of, of it as well, which goes beautifully with that, and then you can mix, start to mix these things through. Um, and then we've also got the ivory and silver back in stock as well. So maybe you were making the Melba picnic basket set, in which case you're good to go. You are good to go, because we've got that back in stock, we've been waiting for that. But doesn't that work beautifully with that, just to lighten and lift? Absolutely gorgeous! Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I, don't, I just want to keep stroking it. They are very it's pretty. just beautiful. Just, just beautiful. And, um, yeah, it's that metallic, isn't it? Guys, I'm going to have to give you a little bit of a warning, right? Okay. The freight to get these from Japan has been horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. So the prices of this fabric will have to go up. I'm holding it for you for today so that you can fill your boots, so that you can finish your Oriental Baltimore. But please know that this is going to have to go up. It's already gone up. for I'm, I've got this show on Crate and Craft and it's already gone up there. Yep. I can't hold it for them. I can't. They take a cut. I can't hold it for them. So guys, if you want this, please, please, please do grab it before the price goes up. And it is worth every penny. And you look at, um, now I'm never sure if I say it right, Robert Kaufman or Kaufman. If you look at his fabrics with the metallics, bearing in mind that Lisa worked with him and designed for him for a very long time, his fabrics are way more expensive than we charge Lisa's for. Oh really? Yeah, 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 yeah. And she used to design for him. And then went out on her own. Guys, we have got, oh, 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 look, 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 look. Now, you know, we've got the tile print. You know, this one. Yeah. I'll show you one more new one. Yes. One more new one. Because these are all back in stock situations. Um, and then, whoop, woohoo. Then, first time we've ever had this. Oh, come on. Move it, screen. Doesn't want to play today. SJ was, ah, oh, there we go. Flowering gum in <coughs> black. Yes. I loaded this one this morning and I was looking at it going, oh, this is Hello. pretty. This is rather gorgeous, mm. isn't it? Yes. Isn't that beautiful? Now, there is an argument for those of you that might want to sash in flowering gums black. Ooh. That would give it a very different look. Would. But if you've got any of the black and gold fabrics, to have black flowering gum is a game changer. We've never had it before, we've never stopped it. I don't know if it's actually even been a thing before now. I'm not sure, because we haven't seen it, have we? No. Until now. We've never had it. So either it was always out of stock with Lisa and we just never got it, or it's a new, a new scenario. Um, also, if you want, I mean, we couldn't fit everything on the shelves this morning, could we? But, 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 if you want the things like the, um, oh gosh, at least I've done this all wrong, haven't I? I've, I've, here we go, let me just pop this back down here. Um, if you wanted, what else might you want? Oh, look how beautifully the green and the silver small floral goes with that one. Oh, this is brand new. Some of you have already seen this. Lisa does actually a beautiful brunch jacket in this. And this is, this is already selling. I know a lot of you have already had a good old, good old chunk of this. Yeah, Gemma loaded this one early before she went on holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one as well. This was, I can't remember if this was new to us or just back in stock. But I know that we cut a big chunk for someone yesterday off this one. I think that one's a back in stock rather than a brand stock? new. Oh, just, look at, oh, just look at the detailing on it. But yeah, whichever colourway that you want... They have just arrived. Morning, Ali. Morning, Elizabeth. Morning, Ven. So, yes, make the most of those. And Jane's done her beautiful thing that she likes to do. The Malba tile is actually not currently on the website either. Are we saying we can load a bowl to that too? The Malba tile? Um, the black and... What? The one in the corner. That one? Yeah. I've got three bolts of that. Okay, cool. That would be why I've still got three bolts of it then, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Pop that on. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. There we go. Um, right. Okay. So, 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 so. Um, let's have a look at some of these. So, these are just some of the bolts that we've been sent back. Uh, some got sent out for you guys to make um, so that it was like a Natasha Makes Oriental Baltimore family quilt in a way, which I've absolutely loved. And they've come back. And somewhere I had a list and I've, I've swooshed it off the desk of who made what. Um, I think Elizabeth I can, did this one. I can get the list. So Elizabeth did the cherry blossom. Thank you very much. Uh, look at these. Look at them. Look at, look, look at them. They're just so stunning. And I had to choose which ones to work with yeah, today. So Anne Evans did the maple. Diane Amazing. Collins did the ginger. Rebecca Jameson did the iris. Alison Brown did the chrysanthemum. Beautiful. <laughs> so well done one saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wendy Barrington did the wisteria. And then Emma. Oh, I can't read the handwriting of the surname. Uh, Emma Purchase. Oh, did that would make sense. Aster. Did the Aster. Where is the Aster? What have I done with that? Oh, it's not on my desk. Right. Let's look at these two. So, um, we can pull any blocks really, but this just gives you um, a good idea that, you know, some people have done them that way around, some people have cut them the other way around. These now need to be trimmed back, okay? Um, and I've only grabbed these two because they just happen to be next to each other and they will go next to each other on the thing. When you get your finishing instructions, if you are printing these off yourself, please, please, please make sure that you have your printer set to actual size. Yes. Actual size. And then, for the first three pages, that's fine. And then you want to take off the back ones, okay? And they are all your templates. Now, you know what we're like here. We could have SJ saved ourselves printing costs, but we don't do that. Yeah. If there's a template to be had. We want you to have <coughs> <laughs> with the block of the month, excuse me, then here it is, okay? This is it. So, we are go These, <laughs> these are it. <laughs> these are they. <laughs> Whichever way round you want to say it. Um, you can cut these out with scissors, you can cut them out. I was using this rotary cutter yesterday um, on that wood stuff, so I'm going to use this one and then it needs a blade change anyway. I don't know how many of you, um, I always remember Rebecca Reed saying to me, she said, oh no, she said, I, I don't change rotary cutters, uh, the blades, she said, just buy a new rotary cutter. <laughs> she had so many rotary cutters because she never changed the blade, she just bought a new one. But it is easy to change them, so don't just buy a new one, just buy a new blade. That's all I would, that's all I would recommend. I mean, unless you want to. We do actually have still some great deals on the Fiskars, rotary cutters. And we managed to get some more of the titanium blades in. They went like hotcakes, SJ. They, they did. absolutely they really flew. Did. The thing is that as long as you don't catch your blade, they last so much longer. And it makes me think of that song, Titanium. I won't sing it. Gem's not here. Yeah, I won't make you a can. mistake again. No. Oh, go on, go on. You are in the, the song chair. <laughs> I am in the song chair, but that one's quite a high-pitched one. I know, I know, I know. It's kind of like a Britain's Got Talent type one, yeah. isn't it? Um, I might not, you know, ruin everyone's eardrums today. Oh, no fun. So these are your templates. If you want to label them, then do. Um, this is going to be along the bottom. We'll use this one today. Don't let me lose that one, SJ. 
I don't know why I'm making you responsible for my actions <laughs> at all this morning. That's really unfair. Um, just in response to Alison Fraser's message. Ali F. Yes. Hi, um, they are not brand new today. We have had them up on the website, but I have checked your orders and I don't think you've placed one for the instructions. Um, so, yeah, we didn't, we haven't had them on a show. What, the? The, the, the new instructions, the finishing. No, we so the finishing on ones. Yeah. So what happened was some of you bought the entire quilt set and we're saying, well, hang on a minute, well, we've already bought the set, why do we have to wait for the fabric to come in from Japan? Which is, you know, valid. So we put them up so that for those of you that wanted to crack on, you could crack on. Because, you know, we're nice like that. We listen, don't we, SJ? We do. We listen, we take action. We try. We're, we're triers. Yeah. <laughs> we are triers. Ba, ba, ba. Um, I always find cutting with a rotary cutter just you can cut out with scissors of course you can how are your scissor cutting skills SJ? I'm one of those people who sit there and take a really long time to cut something out because I need it to be a cr like precision on the lines really yeah Emily um, Emily likes to tell people that she's very good at cutting I've seen her cutting <coughs> out though. Yeah, she will tell people off if they um yeah. if they mention that should she have scissors. Oh. And then and then people realise that actually she was my daughter, so pretty much born with a pair of scissors in her hand. She knows if how to honest, use she pair knows of her way around yeah. a pair of scissors. She's she's quite advanced actually in quite a lot of things. I suddenly realised this the other day where I turned my back on her in the bath for two seconds. She'd washed herself, got, got out, got herself dried and put her pyjamas on. <laughs> I'm like, no, she is. Even and when, you're three. Even <laughs> when um, her and Freddie were doing some tracing for the cow pattern and things like that. Oh, yeah, no, she loved doing the tracing for the cow pattern. Yeah, and I, yeah. I was very impressed. She's got skills, that one. Yep. She'll be taking over the business soon. <laughs> Slash the world. Uh, yeah. Take your pick. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's off to forest school today. She does love a bit of forest school, does RM. And she's the youngest one they've ever let go. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, normally they don't let them in as young as Emily. She's been going for nearly a year now. Because her brother goes. And actually, bless them, one of the mums did say, look, just give her a go. She's not your normal child. <laughs> 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 let her have a go. Um, and so they did, for which I am always very grateful. Oh, here we go. <gasps> look at this, look at this, look at this. Place on the fold. Hang on. Oh, like this. <gasps> Do you reckon that's it? Place on the fold. I don't know, yes. you're asking the wrong person. Oh, bless Jane. This is where we need Jane to come in. No, it's not. Do you know what it needs for me to do? To not cut off the bit there that says A, B? Oh, yeah. Would have really helped. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that dotted line there is A, B. Honestly, honestly, if Lisa's watching, she'll be like, oh, Natasha, come on. You know, they because they're um, obviously on Australia time. So her and her husband, Rob, um, they often sit and watch with a little gin in the evening. Do you think we're better with a gin after a gin? Maybe. maybe Do you think I would be better maybe. off <laughs> Maybe then, you know, everyone can handle our, our singing as well. Our singing, yeah. general humour, I don't know. Yeah. If it makes it makes us more tolerable. Facebook right. Facebook doesn't like it, but a glass of gin then, you know, might make it a bit better. Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to do? Good morning, Sasha and team. Says Donna, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, SJ, my next question to... Oh, more that, I've got all the questions today. I know, I'm in the I, hot seat. I am like that child in the back of the car that just, I, I read somewhere that part of your driving test should involve a hot fire round of questions from a child on the back seat whilst you attempt. To see if you get road rage. Yeah, to, the more questions to do some asked. sort of uh, car based manoeuvre. And I was like, ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? If you've ever tried driving or in cities that you don't know where you're a bit lost, mm. you've got to look at your sat nav. And all you have is your kids trying to tell you how to drive. I'm very lucky that I haven't experienced that yet. Oh, you'll get it. You'll get it. Your niece will do it. And yeah, you'll just be like, oh. 
or you know or they watch the speedo that's the new fun game oh okay and look for the sp and because in my new car <laughs> it's got what i should be driving at yeah yeah which is all the fun mummy mm -hmm. what <laughs> Did you know? Yes. Don't you love technology. <laughs> I don't. I just mm. don't. I love technology. I love it. I do love it. Mm. I never speed, clearly. Clearly. Not me. No way, Jose. Oh, Claire Angelina is saying, Emily with scissors is like my Ryan with basketball hoops. Other parents uh, saying, oh my God, he's going to fall. And she's there going, he's fine. He's been climbing parkour since he was three. Uh, he, uh, he is phenomenal. I mean, like, this kid has the most incredible talent. And I think all kids have their thing. It's just whether or not they find it. Yeah. Like a little, I don't know if I've ever shared with you guys. Um, and this might go down as one of those things that you go, Natasha, how did you never tell us this? Um, I was Tom Daly's first ever agent. I you do know, know this one. You know this. Yeah, know so this you know one. this one. And I got him his very first, um, I'm just going to do that because it says place on the fold. This is your fold. I'm just going to cut that. I got him his first deals with Adidas, all sorts. He was 10 years old when I took on Tom. And, um, and if he hadn't lived within the proximity of the diving board, because they're not readily available, no. we'd never have a Tom Daly. It was only happened that he just happened to live within mm. whatever he was doing, gymnastics, blah, blah. And you just go, that's nuts, isn't it? It's just how many other kids have got an incredible talent that you just, you just never know, you'll never know about because they didn't live in the right place. Yeah. It is very true. You know, like, yeah. Claire Angelina's son has the most incredible climbing talent like that I have ever seen. I've, I've you know, we've been friends on Facebook for years. And, um... And I've watched this kid. He gives me heart palpitations. Like, Freddie at eight can barely climb a gate. <laughs> and this kid is, like, just standing on top of everything. Like, he's fearless. And you do just kind of go, wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Now, um, you can make another one of these if you want. Pop it on. In fact, should we do that? Yeah. Could you grab me a piece of scrap paper out of the top right hand drawer can do of the, I, don't, I think that'll still I don't think you need to switch off I think it should still reach I'm scared now that my head's going to be you know what I thought I was short enough that I could walk way? under it oh no that's Gemma and uh, <laughs> no cotton me. I'm just that you're, inch you're taller you're just far away <laughs> <laughs> so we've now got this is what we now have let's see um, so that is going to be that bit there this is your corner bits and that is your bottom bits and your top bits um that okay no do we need no no it's all good it's all good i was going to go for like a whole piece of a3 i was going to oh, push the sorry. boat out no no, no i'll go shall i go Luckily, grab an a3 i have my beautiful natasha makes rather lovely washi tape so we're all good sorry i didn't think no, about it we have, um, when any kind of printing, because uh, when we get the Great Craft orders through, there's always like a spare piece of paper at the start and the end. Drives me nuts. And it just says, end of document. Yeah. On a whole sheet of paper. I'm like, Argh. And um, so what I tend to do is, oh, God. and again, good job that's with washi tape. What I tend to do is um, just put them all in the all in the drawer for scrap for the kids to, you know, cut up. <laughs> yeah, that is the best. Do all of that. There we go. That's better. So, Still Sparkly said, definitely better after a gin. One of my research proje projects at college was how alcohol affects palpitation skills. And we did it with a qualified os osteopath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we did a lot of research and established that skills increased... Oh, wow. Up to about 18 to 20 nits. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Do you really think my skills would... I mean, bearing in mind that I wheel, like, sharp implements. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't know if that would be the case when you're working with sharp objects. And precision things. 
Yeah. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't... Having to sew in a straight line. <laughs> I know, like it's an effort, right? <laughs> you saw me yesterday when I was, ne- I'd managed to prong myself on, on my own needle. I did change the needle by this morning, I did remember. and go. Although oh, yeah. I do, I do agree with uh, Elizabeth Krangle there, where you do make it look very easy. Ah, <laughs> bless you Elizabeth. Thanks. It's not always the case. Going through a sewing machine at speed in a straight line. I do struggle with that. I could just um, trim it as I, rather than draw it, couldn't I? Do that. I I could actually do that. And then take that down there. So Gemma, who is on holiday, was messaging me yesterday on her holiday. Like, go away, woman. Without meaning to sound rude, but go away, you're on holiday. <laughs> They'd found Connect Four in their caravan. <laughs> oh, wow. So... Um, lucky old guy was being treated to a few rounds of Connect Four. Now, what guy failed to realise is that Gemma has been playing against my children for some time now. So, she has... <laughs> she does challenge Freddy to a game, doesn't she? Yeah, 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 right? So, she has more recent, more recent uh, Connect Four... Skills. Skills. And he's just like, it's just like battleships, but for dummies. I think he retracted um, <laughs> retracted that comment after Gemma just beat him time after time after time. She's like, really? For dummies, is it? Oh, yes. Oh, I just had all the fun. I'm having a holiday. great time. Well, of course she is. Everyone loves Connect Four. It's one of my favourite games growing up. Yeah, I still think I could play a few rounds of Connect Four yeah. without getting bored of it. I've never played Battleship, so that one's lost on me. This is now my template. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with while well, I got all my washi tape out and got all artistic with everything. I'm going to put these to the side and we're going to trim some of these back now. Okay, now, um, the conversation that Jane and I had this morning was what is the best way to tackle these? Um, and that is a very good question. Very good question. Very good question because obviously some of these are lumpier than others. This one is smoother than this one. This one has some lump. Okay, so on this one, you're probably fine to put that on the front and draw around. But if you do have lumpy ones, everyone loves a lumpy one. Yeah. To be honest, kind of draw it on the back so that it is going to lie as flat as you can get it and then cut it from the back. Okay, so we'll do both. We will do both just to demonstrate SJ. Demonstrate. That's what we are in the game of. Um, if you want to like find your markers. Do you remember when we first did these, we always did, we always folded these into quarters yeah. so that hopefully they would be in the middle. Now, because we farmed some of these out for you lovely lot to do, I don't know if they kept up with that or not, or if they started from scratch. I can't remember which ones started from scratch or not. And now I can't find my pen with, oh, this one, this one that's right here. So, that's all good. Um, so, 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 you can, you can just double check that and realign. Give it a quick finger press. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty much in the centre. It is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Which means that actually my washi tape, happily, is also lining up nice and centrally. I mean, that's obviously pre-planned. Like I said, this isn't a show that I could really No, you can't do. really prep for this, can you? Once you've used uh, no. all of the blocks up, it's another year's worth of blocks that you're going to need to oh, make. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Just... Um, I'm Yeah, I'm excited slash scared about this one. But... But I guess that's what the great <coughs> thing has been about this whole quilt. It's is learning the fact curve. that you've this is the first time you've used some of these techniques and yeah. together along with our audience it's been a first for a lot of people. Do you know it that's exactly it, isn't it? And I don't ever profess to be an applique expert, but my golly, my skills have improved from this. And I've been incredibly lucky because Lisa's also taught me. Like, who gets that? 
it's, you know, she's really mentored me with this and it's been phenomenal. So I do count myself as incredibly lucky. Incredibly lucky. Even if it has been at stupid o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Krangle saying, going back to Tom Daly, um, are you going to get Tom on <laughs> Natasha Makes? He can have a little segment. He's doing his crochet and his knitting. Yeah. Oh, bless it. No, we're not in touch anymore, actually. Gosh, that was, I mean, it was years ago. He's a grown man now with a family of his own. He is. I did love that over the uh, over the Olympics though when he was. Oh yeah, <laughs> his jumper. He was just, you know, what he was just, he was just always the nicest kid. Like no one, you just there was nothing you couldn't ever. I I worked with a lot of sports people, a lot of sports people, a lot. Um, should I say a lot again? And. Um, but there was no side, there was no, ooh, there was no edge to Tom, like ever. Okay, be really careful. This is why it's probably best to do it from the back. There we go. Um, the, yeah, there's just never any edge to him. He was just the sweetest, nicest person. You can tell that, even when he come, how he comes across in like interviews and, I don't know, just the way that he kind of... He's genuine, you know, yeah. there's just no, there's no... Yeah, just such a really nice guy. There we go. Oh, everyone's bringing out the um, perfect games for Gemma to be playing in Errol. Oh, Vicky what Payne should she be playing? Said, uh, tell me you have Uno. I don't think I've ever played Uno. So the first time I ever played Uno was about four years ago. Right. How did that go? Um, it took me a little while to get to grips with it. What is it? Um, but it was a lot of fun. Okay. Well, a I'll lot go fun. with a lot of fun. <gasps> Gorgeous. Um, the uh, game that I was introduced to you the other night. Is it Clack? Clack? I think that's what it's called. Oh, I don't know. That Clack. One. It's like a Norwegian, I don't know if I've even got this right now. Um, it's a bit like magnetic table football, but without the footballers. Magnetic table football without the footballers, okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like a, it, so it's like a table football thing. Mm -hmm. Someone will have heard of it out of, out of our gorgeous viewers, because someone always has. And... Um, it, yeah, I was obviously rubbish, which very much was served as a disappointment. Um, I can't, um, yeah. And, um, yeah, I, I couldn't do it at all. Are you Googling it to find out what it is? I'm not. Oh. Would you like me to? Yeah. Um, what was it again? Click? Clack, I think it was called. Just clack? Maybe, with a K. Has anybody heard of it? Getting a lot of other things coming up. Oh, hang on, wait. Have I found it here? Clack game. How do they? How do they describe it? Apparently, they have like championships and everything. Obviously, I'd had a gin and I was quite rubbish at it. Oh no! I, oh, I don't know. This this is saying. Clack is a game of quick decisions and speedy hands powered by dice and magnets. Yes, that's the one. I don't know okay. where the dice were. I didn't see any dice. It does look very interesting. I'm not sure that I was given the full. I do love a board game. Do you? Yeah, I do. Monopoly? So around, yeah, love it. Um, yeah. At Christmas time. Um, hasn't happened for a few years, but my mum would always buy... ta -da! A, Gorgeous. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. She would buy a board game <coughs> that we would then just be addicted to for the whole Christmas. Oh, yeah, you'd have the Christmas board game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we'd have yeah. a different board game every year. But when um, now that both of my sisters have moved out and I... Temporarily live in Coventry. <laughs> oh. um, whenever we all get together on the weekends when we're all at home, we do try to get out 
A board game. Do you know what? It was always Trivial Pursuit at Christmas yes, in our family. Yeah. I hate that game with a passion. I'm no, I'm just no good at it. And I think also because our board game was so out of date, I don't think I ever realised, you know, that actually you could get one that wasn't all about like the 80s. Yeah, so that would always be my problem. It so was... I want the up-to-date one. And then my parents wouldn't like it because they wouldn't know any of the bands. <laughs> They'd be yeah. like, oh, this is rubbish. So now we have like an addition for them and an addition for me. And mine isn't the kids' one, by the way, <laughs> just just so that you know. And then over like lockdown Christmases, we bought the same board games. Well, I bought the same board game for them and sent it to them, oh, so, so that you we could, play could we could play together. That was such a good idea. <laughs> I'm also one of those people who, when I go on holiday, I have to take like a pack of cards or a card game. So I don't know if you've oh. heard of like double. Oh, yeah, I sort of know what that is. Yeah. So, like when we were in Vegas, there was one night where... Um, Sorry, we, you took cards I did. to Vegas? Yeah, nobody else had them. We could have bought but them But apart there. from yeah. the entire casino, <laughs> yeah. apart from all of Vegas. <laughs> well, we were sat having some drinks before we went out, oh, and so everyone you. was like, oh, we need some cards. And this is a, a funny thing that... We could no have one in Vegas had cards. Them. No one who'd come with us Amazing. had a pack of cards except for me. That's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. It is a bit, isn't it? Yeah. But it is true. You can get a pack of cards around every corner. I also found out that they sell the used cards from the casinos. Do they? Yeah. So some of the casinos actually, because they have to have a fresh pack all yeah. the time. They can't keep reusing the same packs. Gorgeous. Beautiful. What is it? It's beautiful. So, this and that are going to start to go together. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Scrabble oh, is a good one as well. Scrabble? A few people mentioning Scrabble. I hate Scrabble yeah. with a passion. No, do you really? I really do. Oh, and it, okay. I, okay, because I, th I put it down. So, my... <laughs> you're getting all the stories, aren't you, today? I put it down to being a little bit dyslexic. It's kind of borderline and it just, I can never spell it right, um, is my story that I'd like to tell myself. So when I was younger, I really hated Scrabble. My family, everyone I else love loved it. it. Yeah. I hated it because similar to you, when I was at school, they actually put me in like extra classes because they thought I was dyslexic. But when I did the tests for it, they'd come back and say, you're not. So my teachers came up with um, the solution that I was just being lazy with my spelling. <laughs> Yeah, great. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, you're just lazy. Just yeah, lazy. Am I though? Um, am I? Funny thing is, now is that, that my job actually me? entails me to be a very good speller um, and great, have my grammar it? on point, so I have got better over the years. And now I will grammar actually on pay, point. Now I will actually play Scrabble. But when I was younger, I, I used to hate it. My sisters, my brother, my mom, they'd get it out all oh. the time. I, I mean, like my son plays uh, plays. And he will play with my dad, and um, and that you know, so that's great. That kind of gets me out of that one. Now, the so the only time <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually going to admit this on air. Um, when I worked for the Royal Shakespeare Company as a dresser, especially during the season where they did the histories and stuff like that, there were quite long waits in between when we were needed to change yeah. the actors and, and dress them. And some, and I'm not gonna say their names because they're rather famous. We used to play what we lovingly called Tourette's Scrabble, and this is so not PC at all. So it was only naughty words that could go down there. Oh wow, okay, that's you, hard. You, no, it was so much easier because it really focuses the mind. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Whereas when you have the choice of all the words in all the world, I guess I can't think of anything. Yeah. But you hone it down so it's just rude words. And then you see them all. I could play it. I could play it. I was brilliant you at it. never thought of playing that Absolutely way. Absolutely brilliant at it. It just narrows. And so, yeah. But we did get a very naughty word on a triple. And what we hadn't realised is that, of course, everyone that walks through the corridor, everyone stops to look at a board of Scrabble. That's what we hadn't, like, thought about. And you're all sat around this board <laughs> that has the worst Dame word Judy ever. walking past. And you're like, oh, <laughs> Nothing to Awkward. see here. <laughs> she was the naughtiest of the lot, to be honest. She's a very, very funny lady. Right, uh, how wide am I cutting these? 
I'm letting all my secrets out today while I should just be cutting stuff. You are going to cut these. So you get a metre and a half of this. Which way have I folded this, SJ? Have I folded this? I need to fold this salvage to salvage. There it is. Yeah, that's right. Has it then been folded again? I was going to say, you've been cut the right amount as well. Oh, I was about to double up and fold everything and cut everything. Because no, it is. It, that's a metre and a half. It's just, that's how much you're getting. But you need, to, you need to cut quite a lot of these. So I could have done, because I'm doing it with my stripology, I could have done. But you do want to really, really, really rearrange. rearrange. And if you need to repress, then do. Um, it depends how these come off the bolt as to how well, you know, we don't, we don't bolt them. And, um, and it's the mill that bolts them. And if they haven't bolted them quite straight, then you will just have to realign and just press. It's worth doing. It is worth doing. Um, this. That's what I'm looking for. While well, you read, Hidden I'm in just plain sight, SJ. Sonia Merchant Stewart has asked um, I'd like to know do I need the following instructions for the great project that I'm about to finish? So um, she missed the beginning of the show. So oh yes, because otherwise you're not going to have the template. Yeah. And you're not going to have the finishing instructions and you're not going to have the symbols and you're not going to have these template. These are all templated. So yeah, no, you need, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if yeah, you yeah. want your finished quilt to look anything like the one on the back. Anything like that. Um, but if you want to make it completely <laughs> But don't. yeah, if you do. If you just want to make them into like a million cushions or nine. Yeah. Do. Uh, but yeah, to get all of the templates, you will need the set of instructions. Do you know what? This is fabulous because it's one and a half inch strips in between. And what does my stripology ruler have? Perfect for it's it. Got a, it's got a little star every inch and a half. So I could whip that up and you need to have 24 strips. I would be stripologying all over the shop with this. But for now, SJ. Oh, for now, actually, I, do you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to cut myself a seven inch strip because I know that those bits are seven inches. Dee, 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 dee. We've got the uh, board game conversations going. Was oh, it still continuing? Yeah, Carol Shepard said Monopoly's far too long. I actually have played a game for four days before. What? Yeah. No. We have like stopped in the middle, eaten, showered, <laughs> slept, but. We left the board oh and gosh. came back to it in this yeah, that was um, no. that was some summer holiday that was fun. <laughs> that was. Oh, that, you know, yeah. My brother and I used to play Monopoly. It's the longest streak Monopoly, I've ever had. Chess, all that kind of stuff. Um, yep, yep, you don't, yep, yep, yep. It's it's that awkward age where you don't you don't have any money yet to be able to go out and do what you want in the summer holidays, but at the same time And also you're not old enough to go out. You're not old enough to do yeah. it. But then you're too old for the colouring books and the, you know, you, you need something out. So we played, we played uh, Monopoly for four days. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, it, I mean, back in the day, my, when Commodore 64s, you won't know what that is. Yeah. Um, Commodore 64s were a thing. My dad programmed us our own computer game. Oh wow, that's cool. So that, yeah, it was called Balkan Kingdom. So we had our own little computer game that to play. very cool. It's very clever. Um, cool. Do you know what I didn't mention? I was going to mention this at the end, if you hadn't. These are in stock! Yeah. These are, if ever you see me cleaning my glasses. Now, bear in mind that I have to wear a lot of TV. Uh, a lot of TV? I have to wear a lot of makeup behind this because otherwise I just look dead. So, um, a lot happens here, which means a lot goes onto my glasses. And the other thing, the other day, I put them on. I'm like, why can I not actually see? Like... I would quite like it if people took photos of me with a soft focus. You know, like when the lens looks like it's been vaseline and you get that soft yeah. focus. But my kids have got hold of my glasses and with their grubby fingers, it was like my own glasses with soft focus. I'm like, I don't need to see life in soft focus. Thanks, kids. So, and the only, the only cloth, because you get them free, don't you, when you get your glasses? They yeah, always but give they're you, not, they're rubbish. They're not very good. No offense, they're rubbish. These are amazing. These are absolutely amazing. These are the only ones now that I use and I just drip with them everywhere. Yeah. Love them. And why not get yourself a little Melba pocket mirror? They make great gifts as well. Like that and that, really what a lovely gift. 
really lovely. Yeah. We look, they are back in stock and they just, they're just great. I heart them very much, SJ. They are very pretty. Yes. And are very good because it is true. Some of the glasses cleaners that you get with your, your glasses, they just, they just smear the dirt. They don't actually. They just move it around a bit. Yeah. Spread it around a little bit more. Yes. Right. Um, okay, so templates for your middle bits. I've cut myself a seven inch jobby jobby what's it. I've got all the technical words today, SJ. They're all there. Yeah. yeah. Usually just Gemma there. fills in what you actually mean. I know. Sometimes. I hadn't realised just how few words I actually say together, strung together. I'm on that there, big telly tomorrow. No, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, I'm going to have to find some words then. Are you taking any time off over the bank holiday? Mm. You don't have any time to relax? Mm. Let me think about that. <laughs> right, you might want to actually just pin this down so it doesn't shift around. Am I, am I, am I? Do you know what? There is actually a street party in our village, I think, sort of. It's in the park. Oh, uh, okay. But I think they've got like pop-up pop food things. So I might have a little mosey on down, take the kids, maybe a dog down there. That'd be nice. Maud's just had a, her monthly ablutions with the dog groomer. So she bet smells of baby powder. Lovely. She's very fluffy, very embarrassed. Um, but she didn't howl all the time she was in there this time. So we're making progress. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And uh, and the dog groomer actually knows what I mean when I say, could you just trim her dirty lady beard, please? Because the first time I said that, she looked really offended. And I was like, no, 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 where she dunks her entire head in her water, in her water bowl. Just that. That's that. She's like, oh, I didn't know what you meant. I'm like, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I realise I do have my own language sometimes. Doesn't always make but sense. But you are quite lucky that a lot of the people surrounding you actually understand that language. Who know? Who <laughs> know what luck? What luck? Um, it's just finding your own tribe, isn't it? Because I it think is. NM in general definitely has its own language. Oh, for sure. Yeah. There we go. Right. So you're going to use your template to make your middle bits. These are going on point. Whichever way around you like. I like this print because it's non-directional. Now, here are your symbols. Okay. So, I need a light box in my life. That's what I've come to realise. A, um, a mini one. I so do, do have, have one. one. I do have one. This is very big. <laughs> it's or oh, the window. Oh, I thought you meant the light box that we've got that we take our photos in oh no oh no well i've got i've got like a small one it's just it's at home so you can find the middle bit here like what is my middle bit let me do this in normal inches four inches so that's two there so if you want to find the middle bit and then you want to find this is winter by the way i I'd, I'd love to pretend that i actually know that but it's written there and again, find your middle point, and these do go on point. Okay, and line up. De -de -de. Line everything up, okay. And then you can take that to the great um, light box in the sky, if you wish. Now, you know I said that there were gonna be a few ways in which you can do these. You can, if you want, make yourself some bias binding, which means that we have got an option for you with an extra fat quarter of black in if you want to, because bear in mind, they're going to have to be on the bias. If you want to make these, um, then you can. You absolutely can. Do you know the other thing if you don't want to make your own bias? Do you know what I found in the cupboard? I don't know why I'm not whispering. The fusible bias tape. Oh, yes. Now, it would mean you wouldn't necessarily get the... You'd, you'd have to sort of pull it out a little bit and pinch it a little bit. But it could be done. It could be done. I'm just saying, we've got that fusible tape in um, silver as well. 
So when Jane did that beautiful, beautiful project. Just going to tag that into. The you know, we are quite well. trusting that Lisa has got these uh, symbols right. Would you ever have a tattoo in another language in symbols where you weren't the native speaker of that language? No, because you hear stories about how it goes wrong so yeah. much. So much. I'd end up with like chicken nuggets written somewhere. Well, do you know what? That's just it, isn't it? <laughs> That would be exactly it. And then you'd go, you'd actually end up going there. Like, I know that Josh really wants to go to Japan. Yes. And he he'd does. end up, you know, it would be me if I were Josh there. Yeah. Just no. I did. When I was much younger, I nearly got one in. Done right, one. Well, I mean, it's oh, the, the old cliche, cliche, isn't it? One drunken night. Yeah. It's also the night I decided to ride around on a. Why am I telling you all my stories? I really shouldn't be telling any of these. Especially if my mother's watching. Hi, Mum. Didn't do anything when I was in Thailand. I shouldn't have at all. Nothing at all. Very innocent trip. Absolutely. I had to make friends of one of my own. Six weeks after the tsunami. Had friends out there. Yeah. But I did go on my own. There we go. So you can do that now. If you don't want to, someone I know had a tattoo that she thought said stay the night. Turns out the mo literal translation was dormitory sleeps four <gasps> to six. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now there's a friendly tattoo. Mm. <laughs> Could you imagine? I'm glad I'm not her. I know. Dormitory sleeps four to six. <laughs> <coughs> you know what I need? I need a. Um, oh, I'm I, I'm I'm just laughing about that. That's not good, is it? Dormitory sleeps for six. But who told her that? That's the thing. It's isn't probably it? somewhere where she's gone. The native language of the tattoo. Do you think? And they might have gone. Well, like the the Chinese down the road. Yeah. Or a friend or another friend who maybe speaks that language has gone, do you know what you've actually got tattooed on you? That would be awful, isn't it? See, just, just no. Just no. I'm not brave enough to have a tattoo. I know like, some of them look great, but I'm just not brave enough. Be I think because I changed my mind so much. That would be, I would be I think that's my problem. I think that I'd be like, you know... I was very, very tempted. I did want one after I'd, while I was traveling and I had an idea of what I wanted it to be and, and everything and I, I'd, I'd got the idea in my head, but then I thought... Yeah, I still have the idea of what I would have. Yeah. And exactly, I know exactly what I'd have and exactly why I'd have it. And 20 years on, I still haven't been brave enough to do it. Yeah, see, I, I'm, I'm four years on from that initial idea. And I think I'd still quite like to have it. I also don't like the idea of the pain. But again, I'm not brave enough. And also, what if it gets really addictive and I just end up covered head to foot in all sorts of stuff? People say that it is, don't they? Yeah, you see? They do say once you've got one, you I've want more. I've got a chocolate addiction. I don't need any others. <laughs> Thanks very much. Right. Um, so, two, two, two threads of your six thread skeins, okay? And what we're going to do is basically like... Um, well, you can sort of satin stitch it, or there are very various options for you to do it, but honestly, it's up to you how you want to do it. But you can, with two, with two layers, you'll soon, you'll soon fill it in. If you want to pop it in an embroidery hoop, then do. I would do that before maybe you cut it out. And just going up right next to and not pulling it too tight either. And then you can always so you can always then like stem stitch round the edge just to make the edges look really, really smart. 
if you do go a bit wobbly. Uh, Gemma's told us a story. She was at a Chinese festival and someone tapped her on the shoulder and said, do you want to know what your tattoo means? <gasps> she, and she has since got it verified that that is what it means. Mm. Oh no. Where do you stand with that, Lola? If you go back to the original tattoo artist, because presumably, like, she asked for it, how many other people are there wandering around with that? I think sometimes the tattoo artists think it's funny. I remember... Um, because there's so many stories, even celebrities have got tattoos in different languages. But you'd think they'd people get have said after, wouldn't you? What is, I swear Ariana Grande's got one that she like posted everywhere and then people were like, do you actually know what that means? And she was like, yeah, yeah, this is what it means. And it was something really ridiculous. Oh, no. Can't remember what it was, though. Yeah, you'd run it past your management or something, wouldn't you, first, yeah, if you were a super, super, superstar. Yeah. Or, or not, apparently. Your body, your choice. Isn't that right, SJ? I do agree. So there we go. That's how we are going to do. This is a nice one for in front of the TV, I feel. Possibly don't do it in like a time erasing pen. Is unless it, you're a super, is it super sewer. Slowly disappearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. So you, anyway, you get the idea. And I'm not. You can, I mean, you can interface the back of these if you want to, but because I'm not pulling it tight, it's not distorting the fabric in any way, shape or form. So we're going to be fine. That's my analysis of the situation. We're going to be fine. We're all fine here. Um, so you can, that's how you're going to do those. Awesome. Now, 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 now. Um... What I'm just wondering, SJ, is because I've just cut my seven inch jobby jobby what's it's, I've got, again, I have all the words, right? No, here we go. I need to cut myself some more. More. There's no really easy way to cut these and save lots of fabric, by the way. It's just not going to happen. So just know that you're just going to end up, do you know, I'm just going to cut that, just be easier on it. Are you now looking up tattoos Ariana Grande's got? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Sonia has said, would I be able to satin the symbols on the sewing, I think she means sewing machine. On the sewing machine? Yeah. Um, so I thought about that, but I think that you are best to do it by hand um, and the simple reason for that is um, that they just vary in size so unless you are very good at knowing like the width and adjusting it as you go because believe you me like if there's a way to do it on the machine I'm all over that um, but yeah they are th it might be that you don't mind if they're all the same width in which case go for it but if you do want them varying widths, then hand stitching it is the way. And it's kind of been a hand stitch project. Yeah. So, you know, that's okay too. So I'm just going to cut out these templates and then I just need to do the ones for the bottom. And then we can start to, we'll assemble it a bit. A bit, a bit. So... Mm, 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 mm. Bump, bump, bump. There we go. So I now need... God, I need all the templates in all the world, don't I, today? There are a lot in this, isn't there? A lot, a lot of templates. Tell you what, I'll just chop that one there. And then we'll be good to go. Hurrah. And I do love that Anna Natasha makes viewers help make this. That makes it all the more special for me. Yeah, it's a very nice community make. Right. Okay. Scrap. Okay. 
So here's what you are going to do. We wanted a 10 and a half inch strip, didn't we, of these? So cut that down to 10 and a half inches. Is Inga very loud today? I know. Very loud. I can't tell if she's a little bit angry or not. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. She a little bit angry or just excited about stuff. Um, so, cutting these at we um, ten and a half. Did I say? Is everybody all right on on the? Uh, yeah, to, to whatever. Chatting away. Ten and a half, and then I would realign that. There's my 10, there's the half mark. So then cut a few more. Hooray! Yeah, I've done that the right way around. You should really do this on the mat. This is when you chip your blade, is when you try and actually start it off, off the thing. So out of each strip, you will get four. There we go. Which instantly means that you might get your binding out of this as well, if you want to nice. bind it. You might. Until I do it, I'm not going to make that final promise, but you might. Um, ooh, now here's the question. Should I be doing this in black or white thread? I'm going to do it in black. Let me just change over my threads. And we're going to start sewing this all together. Exciting! Very exciting. Okay. Okay, okay. So, show, show. Huh, I knew I'd put some somewhere. Here we go. It's always very exciting when you see it coming together. I feel like this has been a work in progress. For such a long time. So long. To see it come together will be quite... It's really exciting, isn't it? Very exciting. Do I have a smaller spool? of black thread or did I tidy it away the other day? I'm going to stop tidying because well, I know well, where Jane stuff is. For you. Yeah, I know. Well, Jane tidies too, but I know oh, I had a black spool, a smaller spool. This spool was to go on, that, on that machine. Is Lisa with us? Yeah, she said, Hi, Lisa. she said, hello, just back. She uh, just got back to the hotel room away from <coughs> work and then she put have we had fun so far we definitely have we've had lots of fun um whilst i've been cutting stuff out i've i've i seem to have told everyone my life story sorry about that uh whether they wanted to know it or not lisa um and i did mention that probably gin would have eased that for a lot of people <laughs> just saying bit of scrap let's just test that's all going to work Nice. Next thing to note, put it on a quarter of an inch. That's also going to help too. That's why you tested it. I know, right? Here we go. Here we go. Right. We're going to sash. Let's get sashing. So that is going to sit in there with your seam lengths. These are cut longer. Because look, you've got a seam allowance. You are you are sewing at angles. There's no ways around this. Lisa, I can't believe you joined us for the one bit I'm a little bit nervous about, but thanks. <laughs> thanks. She's noticed. She put, hey, you have Malba fabrics I don't have yet. Not I know, <laughs> we've got all the fabrics. All the fabrics, Lisa. And they are out and proud. I know, it's super exciting. So these will be about a quarter of an inch, there you go, by the looks of it. And whilst I'm there, I can do that as well. <laughs> I know, what must that be like, eh? To design these glorious things and then have us have them first. Like, oops, sorry, not sorry. But they are beautiful. They are very beautiful. Yeah. Yours should surely be with you soon, Lisa, shouldn't they? Surely to goodness. There we go. 
So I'm going to stitch quarter an inch, quarter an inch, and away we go. Ah, oh, Lisa, uh, Elizabeth, look at the beautiful blocks. They are gorgeous. Now, Everyone I am going to start <coughs> quarter of an inch away. I'm almost wondering whether or not. Yeah, you see, you can sort of see that, can't you? And I hope I'm going to get this right. If not, I'm going to have to unpick something. And if Lisa is already shouting at me, then I'm sorry. No this is a technique yet. that I have used. But I guess it's the same as when we do the bags and we sew up to a certain point. Um, and by that, I mean, let me just whip down here. I can always unpick a little bit. It's fine. over here and have a little press shall we okay press that over there okay now here we go that is going to go in there like so okay so when I stitch it I'm gonna stop quarter of an inch away which is then going to allow me so I'm going to start along there terrifying 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 and then you stop and then you're going to go down there. Oh, it's really terrifying. You can do it. I might even just go from there. Then spin that around and do that onto there. Because for some reason that looks wide. Oh, because it hasn't got... You see, that would normally be onto something else. That's why I've got that extra amount there. I've just realised. That's okay. It's We're all, right. all good. We're all good trim that back um so yeah, 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 yeah i've just made it difficult for myself it's fine um and the thing is is that when you start to sew these along you're gonna sew these together they're gonna they are gonna look a bit weird all right they are they are they are they are um because you see that is gonna fit into there And that's going to go along there. Now bear in mind, in fact, before I use these strips, I'm going to just cut a quarter of an inch off because these are on the bottom. Normally when we would be looking at these, we'd be going, you can see how that fits really beautifully when that's going to be on there. So we'll do that bit. We'll do that bit. We'll sew that on. And the other bits you're going to just trim back a quarter of an inch to fit. Does that make sense in any way, shape or form? Right. I was just oohing and ahhing of how beautiful the blocks are, so I'm going to say that you, you're doing great. No one's, Thanks. Got, no one's got any comments so far. I'm lining up my bottoms here to make sure that everything is in line as I just pin these on. I'm being so careful with this. So, so careful. There we go. <laughs> Lisa said whispering doesn't work, Tash. We can still hear you. Oh, <laughs> don't give me that. Don't give me that. It looks can you weird, ask her? But you are right. It looks weird, but I am right. Yeah. So can you ask her on the bottom on the bottom row? 
on the bottom sashing, do I need to trim that back by the quarter of an inch that it isn't sewn in? Because it's not in the middle of rows. Okay, hopefully, t hopefully uh, Lisa's listening. Because <laughs> that's, that's, what, look, that's what I'm missing there. I've got a little bit extra that I shouldn't have. Because there is, because normally that would then be sewn onto the next row down. I get what you mean. Do you mean. see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And I think I've just decided to demo the bottom one to, you know, for time. There we go. Right. Let's stitch this, shall we? <laughs> Lisa, this wasn't something I could practice. At all. So you are starting. You're going to win. Yeah, slow and steady wins the day with this, I think. <laughs> but I, it's too beautiful to just leave and not do. Definitely. Lisa's put, no, it's right once you push it up and the quarter of an inch is taken in, the end of the strip will match the wedge width. Awesome. There we go. So, I had a horrible moment there where I just thought I hadn't. Um, I love this. You're doing this live for the first time. We're I getting know. a little bit of coaching on the side. I know, I know, I know. There we go. Okay. So here they go. Now what you've got is a little pattern on here to show you how these are going to go. So you'll have all of these sewn together and then you are going to have that sewn to that. Sewn to, oh no, it's that one. So to that. Right, so Lisa, have I got that right? Because I know that this is just part a part one. Do I need to sew that into the middle there? And into the middle there. This is where I just need a little bit of clarification. Oh, we're gonna have to wait a little bit. A little bit of a delay. A little bit of a delay, but in the Claire I'm Angelina say, said technology. Years ago, letter in the post would have taken months to reach Australia. Now instant messaging, brilliant. I know, right? Fabulous. It really is. I'm gonna pop those together. Legs there. And pin these and actually this is this is why I had the white in my machine. <laughs> Lisa's just put should I leave putting the boss off? Yes, you're right. Yes, I'm right. No, no, Lisa, stay. <laughs> no, don't go anywhere, Lisa, for goodness sakes. I do not feel that I'm qualified to do this. But these are the things, like, this is good because we get to ask the questions with Lisa here. There's not many other platforms that you'd be able to... It's pretty it like amazing, isn't it? It is yeah. pretty amazing. Uh, bearing in mind that Lisa is also in Australia. <laughs> It is amazing. Well, she's away from work, so I don't know if she's actually in Australia. She's in Australia. She's yeah, still no. in Australia. No, she's still in Australia. Okay. Well, from the photos that she sent me this morning, that's how I knew. Oh, okay. Not jealous at all there. Look beautiful. Yeah, work recce was what she told me. I'm like, no, it's not. It's jolly. <laughs> A.K.A. a jolly, Lise Chandler. I know you. <laughs> um, no judgment. I mean, fair play. Lisa's put, I can't remember if you had to add seam allowance, though. What? Uh, if it doesn't fit, you might have missed adding seam allowance after drawing them wedge templates on. <laughs> what? 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 Did I miss that step? Preparing your sashing. Cut four seven inch squares. Find the center. <gasps> Make a template of the sashing diagram provided. Center and draw onto your embroidered sashing blocks. <gasps> oh no, she's right. Yeah, add a quarter of an inch to all of them. It's 
my sashing blocks. But if I've cut a seven inch square, hang on a minute, cut four. Oh, so you put them. Hang on a minute. You don't sit that onto anything. At least I'm confused. Do you cut that as a... No, you're right. Listen to this. Make a template of the sashing diagram for... Oh, yeah. No, I should have done. I should have done. So I need to make that out of a seven and a half inch, don't I? Because I need to add that on. So bear with me while I just do that. Eagle eyes. I completely misread that. Completely misread that. Well done. We do always say that we make the mistakes. So yeah, do you know don't. what? Yeah. <laughs> and how easy it is to do. How easy. It, what did I do with the fabric? There we go. Sorry, Lisa. Sorry, Lisa. You see, I read cut a seven inch square as in, not as in the template. It's all right. We can cut a seven and a half inch one, and that's fine. This is the place to make the mistake, isn't it? Now, yeah. before I've cut them all out. It's all good, that would make more sense. Right, let's do that then, shall we? Seven and a half to give me a quarter of an inch. Yes. I'm going with yes. Yes, yes, yes. Has Lisa given up and gone? She's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think she is still here. Dee -dee -dee. It's best to find. How did I miss a whole section there? There we go. Right. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, so I'm going to need a different ruler, that'll do. There we go. Yeah, that makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. I couldn't work out how that was gonna happen. <laughs> so there's the thing. Lisa has a cuppa rule where she says, sit down and read through it with a cuppa before you actually start it. Guess who didn't do that? There we go. Right. Oh, Lisa's put, it's only fabric, Natasha's, no stress. The step is so you end up with the seam line drawn on, so it's easy to see where to stop at a quarter yeah. inch corner. So. There we go. Add it on all the way round. There you go. And Lisa said that she loves her creative grid rulers. Thank you. Natasha. They are a game changer, aren't they? A complete and utter game changer. So I've got that one for the base. And then I also need to use this one to then add my quarter of an inch on all the way around there. And yeah, you can. She does say to draw that quarter of an inch on. It's best to find out now. Definitely best to find out now. Oh, yes. So if I do that there, then I can add on a half inch and I know I am all good. So that's got a quarter there. That then has a quarter inch there. Line that one up, and away we go. We right, as we jolly well were. Do you know, she came back at just the right time, didn't she? Yep. Before I totally hash that up. Right, let's go again with the right one. Okay. Here we go, right, got it, got it, got it, got it. So the template is to find the center but you add your seam allowance. Got it, draw that on, add your seam allowance on. So I should have, when we come to draw these, because they're gonna be right sides together, add your seam allowance on, because, and I know exactly why she's done it. I'll tell you exactly why she's done it. Because, because, because. 
when you, in fact, you know what, I'll probably make this out of template plastic now that I know what I've got to do with it. Um, when you sew, when you get to these corners, you're going to stop with your needle, you're just going to stop. Take it away, realign, and then stitch the straight bit. And that's how you're going to get all these amazing lines and stuff. So pop that on there. Do you know what? I love that we're just learning all this together and that it doesn't matter. Possibly going to put the pin down. Yeah, we don't want you to uh, have another incident. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Right, as we were, so we're going to sew those right sides together to start off with. But, SJ, when we start to sew them, and this was the bit that I did read, and I think I spent so long concentrating on that bit, I didn't look at the rest of it. When you start to sew this together, I'm going to sew from that point to that point, I like that even more, to that corner point there, from there to there, so there's a quarter of an inch either end. Yes? Yes. You're smiling at me like, now she finally gets it. I feel like everyone has gone very silent on the comments because everybody's concentrated. <laughs> <coughs> I know, right? Do you know what else I've just looked at? God, have I actually got the right corner? There. It's that one. Yep. Okay. So when you sew those together, yeah, there to there. It is quite terrifying, isn't it? And we're good. And then it's going to be the same when we put them put this on. So that's going to go on. And that's going to go to there. Exciting. All right, let's get sewing. Where's my foot? There we go. Has it gone very quiet, SJ? Yeah. Everybody is, um, everyone is concentrating, I think. I never realised this is the bottom, I can just sew off the bottom on that one, but if, you know, if you're adding the other bits in, then you wouldn't. Ali Barton has said you have the patience of a saint. I'm going to realign that to that quarter inch. And then I'm just going to press those. It is a pressing matter. Here we go. I don't know if I meant to press these. I'm going to press it to one side actually so that I can still see those. And then one more to then go on the other side. Oh, oh, hang on. That was if I actually get the angle right, didn't it? So you can see a bit of what I'm doing. Oh, no, you've gone to the front camera. Oh, I'm just going to sew it. <laughs> <laughs> but the main thing is, stop with that quarter of an inch because... Because, because... What is going to happen is... I'll show you. And hopefully it'll all make a little bit more sense. Thank goodness for whoever it was, the eagle-eyed who'd actually read the instructions. <coughs> You're going to do this little bit by little bit. I did read that instruction. Okay. So we will start here. 
okay? And you can see now, now I've added that seam allowance in, you can see I'm going to stitch, and actually because this is the end, I can go all the way across, but to here. And at that point, that is on that seam allowance there. That's on that bit. And then we're going to stop. We will then be able to pivot that and sew from there to there. We will then stop. We will then pivot. We will then realign and we will then sew along to here where we will then pivot and sew from there to there. And if you want to pin the whatever out of this so that there's no bias or anything that's going to get in the way, and then you will pin and you will sew across from there to there, leaving that quarter of an inch, and then that will then line up to go along to there. That then aligns and sews along to there. Does that make sense? Yes? Yes. Should we give it a go? Okay, let's do it. I'm going to tell you something that um, we've agreed is a design feature, so shh. What's a design feature? But we think that the purple block is upside down. Is it? <gasps> it's at the bottom. <gasps> but shh, it's a design feature. No, it's not. I'm unpicking it. Okay. <laughs> do you know what? I looked at it and went, oh, how nice it's got that at the bottom. What an idiot. It happens. It's the wisteria block, isn't it? Of mm -hmm. course it goes from top to bottom. <coughs> Bless you lot. Bless you lot. I do love you lot. I love that you would have let me get away with that as a design feature as well. Like the gravity defying wisteria. Do you know what as well? I don't know. Do they have wisteria in America? Is it plant that they have over there, or is it like just a UK? No idea. Shall we? Can we can we find that out? Because I saw someone that made a beautiful cave jacket using. Do you remember the wisteria print that we had? Mm. They made a beautiful jacket. So they over have there. American wisteria, so they must. But does it grow like upside down? Like I've just put that block on. Yeah. It grows the other way up. Yeah. No, no, no. It grows. It grows down. It grows down. Same as yeah. ours. So uh, it can be found throughout the southeastern states. Okay. So l this is the thing, right? This la lady, and I don't know if anyone had the heart to tell her, had done this incredible jacket out of the out of the wisteria fabric. It was all around the up. It was upside down. Oh. I know. Which, if you don't know your plants, and there's me. I even turn around to check. No, I didn't turn around to check. I just went, oh, that looks nice at the bottom. <coughs> what a muppet, honestly. Um, but guys, double check yourselves. That's the thing, isn't it? Apparently you can find it in New York City's Central Park. Oh, can you? Yeah. I did tell you that I was nervous about today, didn't I? Because I couldn't prep it. And this is why. This is, this is the honest them. sewing of what happens at home, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Nearly done. Soz Lisa. But I guess it's nice, we have some demonstrations that we, we get to do many practices of and the demo runs smoothly, but every now and then. Yeah, you get so an honest It's one. always good to show that you're a little <coughs> bit human. A little bit, my goodness. With your super strength yesterday. <laughs> Woman do you know of many what that talents. Was? It does, I do question it sometimes. Do you know what I did last night, having moved all that fabric? I did go out and have dinner with a friend. And we were just there, we're like, oh, we'll have a starter and a main. And then there were two kids on the table next to us. Mm. And they had the most amazing chocolate pudding. Ooh. And we both sat there. You know one of those round ones? I can't say the word that they call it. And on it melts. Because, yeah, and then you pour like yeah. the caramel sauce on it and mm. it all melts. And then inside, it gets even better because then inside there was chocolate brownie with a big lump of Biscoff on top. <laughs> Sat on a bed of cream with Where ice cream go? on the side. I need this. And um and so I felt justified. Have you shifted all that fabric? I was like, and this is my reward. Thank you very Can much. Can I have one of them, please? No, right. I know. That sounds amazing. Do you know what? When I do this on um on the craft store, Crate and Craft, Hochanda, whatever the hell they call themselves now, um, I'm going to look like 
a proper professional because I made all my mistakes here. And you lot will be watching and laughing going, she didn't look like that two days ago. Um, and we'll keep that. I'll give you a little wink. And that will be like, I know, I know. And yet, here we all are. Do you know what? This, is, this just goes to show, isn't it? You can't ever claim to be a professional at something you're not. I'm not a professional at a plique and this isn't my design. Can't claim it. Yeah, I guess. That's very, very true. Thank goodness I never tried. <laughs> there we go. Right. Can we please all double check me now as I put this right sides together? Here we are. Right. This time I'm actually going to double check it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are we all happy that that is the correct way round? It is. It is, isn't it? Yes. We all happy? Yes, yes? Did Lisa spot that and go? No. <laughs> Didn't she? It wasn't she Lisa who spotted it. She may have spotted it and just thought, oh, I'll just, I won't say anything. I'll just let that one slide. Um, it was actually Colette Smith. Thank you, Colette! Who originally noticed it. And did, did everyone there just go, just let it go? <laughs> no, but I think of the unpicking I would have had if I'd have stitched on all the bottom as well. Thank you, Colette. That's why I thought I'd tell you just before we start just doing that Just before. Bit it's up to just you. Just before. Yeah. That's all good. Thank oh, you. Lisa said, missed the whole thing, was too busy finding wine. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, right? Just just be grateful. Um, I'm now going back in with black thread. You missed the whole thing. Oh, no, I sewed on the... Um, in my, and I've... Do you know what? I've always done it with that block. I've always done it with the wisteria. I've always, even when I stitched it and had the, I've always put it upside down. I think I because why. initially when you look at it, it does, if you didn't know that wisteria That's hangs. My house is covered in wisteria. Oh yeah, it is. I've got 400 year old wisteria growing up my house. I have no excuses here. I have absolutely not. Oh, Elizabeth Crangles just said, she just I prefer laughing. it when you have to unpick. It makes the show longer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. It means we keep you company for longer. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd do a fast day today after eating. Oh, Ali Barton body said, well, it is an Australian quilt, Tash. Everything oh, there is oh. upside down. I love that you have all the excuses for me. I don't need to try and make any excuses. You all come to my rescue, don't you? And go like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Bless you all. Or I could just look. Like, that's the other thing, isn't it? Just look and just read the instructions and we'll all be fine. Lisa will come back after an entire bottle of gin and be like, crikey, I'm she's still there. I'm that kind of person, though, that I'll read what I want to read. So when I've finished yeah. writing something, I have to leave it, go away. I and can't. I have to come back later because if I read it in that moment and I still know what I was trying to type yep. or write, yep. Yep. then that is what I will read. But that's why I can't proofread our patterns because I know what I meant to say. Yeah. So in my head, it will always say that. Yeah. And then Gemma comes along and goes, <laughs> no, it really doesn't, Tasha. Me does not say that at all. Yeah, so I, so I have to, <laughs> I have to walk Alison away. Is, right, have I got that? Is everything round the right way now? Can we all please double check me? Maybe this is a quilt that you should just do with friends and they can just keep double checking you. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Lisa said I was waiting for that, Ali. Alison. Yeah. The, uh, upside no, no. down. Yeah, yeah. Down We're under. We are all good. Okay, so... We start over here. I'm a bit nervous. Okay. And we're going to pin. Whoop, no, we're not. No, we're not. Now, because this is my side piece and I'm not going to do this onto anything else, I can start from the edge and then come in, but I'm going to stop at that point. Going to stop at that point, okay? That is my first bit. In fact, because it's got to spin around and go that way, I'm going to start from that point and sew out. That's even easier. Checking I'm on quarter of an inch seam allowance. Che it's like doing flight checks, isn't it? Oh, Gemma's, Gemma's message in the group. Gemma, it's all right, we've got it. She did message me about... 
almost 10 minutes ago and I just didn't check in capital letters. Tasha's so mysterious. Turn it around the wrong down. way. <laughs> Turn around. Turn around. We got there eventually. We did. Right. So here we go. So I've sewn to that point. We now spin everything around and rearrange. This is terrifying. And that then sits in there because then when that look at that, that will then go like that. Slow and steady. You might have to unpick a bit, who knows? I'm not gonna rule that possibility out for anyone. Oh, everyone's uh, getting their Lisa Chandler fabric orders in. If you are in any way unsure as to how that should lie, because at the moment it's like that, but you need it so that it's going to be like that. Stick a pin in. So I know that when that goes down to there, I've got to stop quarter of an inch. So I know that down there, like that's kind of... That's my marker point, so I can absolutely pin that and know that that's fine there. And also I've just tucked that out of the way, so I'm not going to be stitching onto there. Which means that, and I should have best pressed this. Oh, this is a full show of shoulda, woulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? If you'd had a test room, we would have... <laughs> Probably still got it wrong. Uh, no. <laughs> right. I'm just going to pop, I'm going to pull that bottom seam out of the way, I'm going to pop a pin in there. Now what I want to know SJ is yes. when I turn that over, there you go, so that's going to give me, you have to bear in mind I've got a pin stuck in there, and, but you can mock it. And if in doubt, baste it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All I'm doing is just getting anything out the way that shouldn't be there. Yeah, that was about right. Oh yeah. Right. Let's take it to the machine. Oh, Fiona has to leave us, but she'll catch up later. Oh, Fiona. She said, really great to be able to watch you lie. Oh, you could have fast forwarded through the uh, mistakey bits. Okay. Even in Lisa's instructions, she's like, just slow and steady. You guys don't have to do this for the first time with an audience. So just thank your lucky stars on that. <laughs> this is honestly not a technique I've ever done before. So you're gonna be changing direction. Let's see, let's see if I've done this enough to be correct. Do you know what? For a first attempt, that's not too bad. There you go. So now you can see that's come and that's gone down there. And then from here, you just have to realign 
find just well yeah this is a straight line so I didn't draw my seam allowance on but you're going to go up to that fold because then you'll spin that and put that onto that seam allowance and then sew up to there can you see how that's going to work yeah so because I've stitched down and left that seam allowance there that gives me enough that I can then push that raw edge across to there so that's out of the way I can fold that one over start there stitch across to there and then realign to there but this is a slow and steady wins the race job okay and that's how you're going to do it is that is that is that clear as mud everyone <laughs> i'm not going to do any more of that um but that's yeah honestly it is it's just a case of make sure you add those, that quarter of an inch don't be like me and misread it add that quarter of an inch use it as a template as it's intended to then add your quarter of an inch on and you'll be absolutely fine but guys thank you and thank you for bearing with me as i sew things upside down and back to front and all over the place uh, together we get there but this is the last one and then when we start the next one not next month but in july yep. it won't be my first plique quilt no no and it won't be for many of our audience either. no so then we move on and it's got all sorts of beautiful beautiful blocks so you can either do this one or you can add the next one in. It's entirely up to you. Have we got an image of it? Um, I'm sure we I'll find do. one and I'll put it on my Facebook yeah. page so that you can take a look. Hey, that's what I'll do. Now, tomorrow is Jane. Yes. Um, Where did we put her quilt? Her quilt is in the other room. I'll go grab Should it. Should we go get it? Yeah. Because she's, she's done another blinder, I think. So tomorrow is our subscription one. You know where you get... We're all getting sort of blues and greens tomorrow um, in our cake. In fact, I can hear them cutting the subscription fabrics as we speak. And um, so the next one we start looking at. I realised I'm not as good as Gemma. I just walked straight through the camera again. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. And this, I don't know if I've got this the right way up or not. I mean, it would make a change, wouldn't it, for me to get anything around the right way today? Have I got that around the right way? Um, Does it matter? I think so. If I just keep rotating it, yeah, you can you pick can see all of the corners. Which way? It's very pretty. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yep. So this uses our subscriptions bundle. Subscriptions and plus some. Plus. Plus some other greens yes. that we've found to, um, to titivate you. Yes. Tantalise you. Not titivate. Tantalise you so that you can titivate your stash with all the greens and all the blues and all the world. That's what we're going to oh, do. Oh, Lisa said, all those in favour of taking Tash out for lunch in August next year when I'm there say yes, and there's a lot of Yay! yes. Yay! <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll have to book out a whole pub, won't we? That'd be amazing. Um, and then Lisa, you could, yeah. Do you know what, what I love about Lisa is because she does her own live shows. She knows that some days stuff just goes wrong. Yeah. And you just know. But guys, thank you ever so much. I will see you tomorrow and Jane can take over and um, I'm going to go and have some lunch. Yes. You guys have some lunch and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. See Lots you of tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.